Hi guys, today we are still discussing about the tourist attractions in South Korea. Before we start, let's wake up channel is shared equally by giving a comment, like, and share if this video is interesting to you. And the subscribe button and image to can bells to stay connected and get the latest information about the channel. Let's get started. 7 of the best attractions of Jeju Island in South Korea. Jeju Island is an island located in the south of the peninsula of Korea. Jeju Island is the largest island in South Korea and one other special Baratunamai province. In 2007, it was named as one of the UNESCO World Heritage List. The number one. Manjagul Cave. Manjagol is located in Lava Tube area Gimnyongri, Gujwe Up. Lava Tube itself is one of the types of caves that are formed due to the deposits of volcanic lava flows. With a width of 5 meters and a length of 13 kilometers, Manjagol became one of the world's longest lava tubes. These caves are formed due to lava flows from a volcanic eruption that occurred around 200,000 years ago. The interior is filled with a stalactite, stalagmite, and helictite. There are also cave corals which offers unique views. Unfortunately from a 15 km long cave Manjagul, just one km course that is open to tourists. Number 2. Cheonjeon Waterfall. Cheonjeon Waterfall is one of the most beautiful that exists on the island of Jeju. Because of its beauty 22M High Waterfall is named after the Cheonjeon means Land of Paradise. Cheonjeon is attractions most visited by the tourists in the evening, as soon as the evening around a waterfall turned on the lights that make a colorful atmosphere around becoming romantic. Many couples who came to take pictures in there at night. At the bottom of the waterfall created an artificial pond, which provided habitat for Anguilla marmorata a type of tropical eel's color resembling marble. This eel in Korea referred to by the name Muti. Each May in this place held a celebration called Festival Seven Fairies. The festival is associated with the local legend about seven apsaras are said to make their bathroom as a place of Cheonjeon. Number 3. Halazan Mountains. Halazan which means Mount Hela is the highest mountain in South Korea. The volcano with an altitude of 1,950 meters is part of Halazan Gung Nip Gung 1 Conservation Area or Halazan National Park. In this mountain, there is the oldest Buddhist temple in Jejun, namely Gwenium Sa constructed during the Goryeo dynasty. While at the top there is a crater lake known as Vengnoktham, meaning White Stag Inhabited Pond. The area of Mount Hala has unique natural conditions, as is divided into several different climates. Cold temperate peaks and sometimes shrouded in snow, while the core is temperate, coastal region and it is located at the base of the mountain has a subtropical climate. Because that's in the mountains it can be found a variety of typical regional plants of tropical and cold all at once. Number 4. Jijud Folk Village Museum. Jeju Folk Village Museum is deliberately artificial village was established on an area of 40 acres by mimicking the concept of rural in 1890s. The main attractions offered by this open-air museum is a replica of the ancient culture of Korea. There are 117 cottages, houses, and public facilities all at area can be found here. The settlement is divided into four themes, namely the mountain village, a village in the foothills area, fishing village, and the village of shamanism. Complete with thousands of ancient utensils made of bamboo, clay, porcelain, and iron. By visiting the museum you will be comfortable stepping into the setting of the film Sinegak, colossal Korea movie with a setting of the era. Some of the scenes in the play Phenomenal Jewel in the Palace or Daejangjeum also taken here. Number 5. Teddy Bear Museum If you've ever watched the drama Princess Hours Gun or Korea, you definitely remember the teddy bear of the ruined museum visited by Chigai Yeong and Prince Shin in the drama. The venue is the Teddy Bear Museum, 
one of the few museums that display a collection of stuffed teddy bear in the world. Teddy Bear Museum is also one of the few museums with a unique concept which exists on the island of Jeju. There are two main galleries exhibiting a collection of teddy bears from different countries. In the museum were displayed hundreds of stuffed teddy bear that is compiled with interesting, resemble famous people or scenes of popular movies such as the scene where Marilyn Monroe wind-blown skirt in the seven-year inch and Titanic. Number 6. Henaio Museum. Who would have thought that meant a dip in South Korea are women? The story of the great South Korea divers in can you find in the Henaio Museum. Inside the museum, you can see a replica of the house the women divers. The house is usually divided into three parts mainly bedroom, dining room, and kitchen. You can also see the clothes as well as weapons and tools used for hunting in the sea. Number 7. Yomeji Botanical Garden. The last interesting sites worth a visit in Jeju is Yomeji Botanical Garden or Botanic Garden Yomji. The park is located in the tourist complex of Jungmun, is Asia's largest botanical garden which houses a collection of 1,200 plant species from tropical and subtropical areas. Inside are glass houses with various themes, among others, flower garden, garden plants, cactus gardens, forests, and tropical fruits. Please, like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video until it is finished.